In the past several days, women in Saudi Arabia have dramatically stepped up their efforts to end male guardianship in the ultra-conservative kingdom. On Saturday, Saudi women sent an open letter to King Salman and began a Twitter campaign using hashtags like Stop Enslaving Saudi Women and I Am My Own Guardian. Activists estimate hundreds of people sent telegrams to the king on Sunday asking to remove the regulations. And on Monday, one woman delivered a petition with more than 14,000 signatures to the royal palace. The current guardianship system basically treats women as legal minors. They must obtain permission from a guardian to marry, travel outside the country, and study abroad. And those are just a few of the restrictions. While the Saudi government has not yet responded to the women's request, the Islamic countries most senior cleric recently said pleas to end the system are a crime against the religion of Islam and present an existential threat to Saudi society. From the outside, it seems like life for Saudi women has improved overall recently. Women were able to participate in municipal elections for the first time last year and now make up the majority of university students. But these positive changes can also make the imbalance even more obvious. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Stevenson.